it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video as you can see from the title it's a little different for me it's a cooking video and as you know your girl isn't a cooking content creator so this is probably the first and only cooking video I'll ever do on this channel but today's cooking video is a little different because uh, it's something I'm a little bit excited about now if you follow me on IG at Leah Levon 89 you guys know I bought the Waffle House waffle mix now if you don't know as i'm filming this right now we're in the uh, i say height of COVID 19 right now in the u.s and all throughout the country and so to kind of alleviate that and still kind of make a turn on profit waffle house has decided to sell some of their ingredients so right now online you can buy their waffle mix and their hash brown mix now of course you can't buy the other things because i think everything else waffle house makes is pretty standard that you can get anywhere like eggs and bacon sausage those types of things but I know, I know they're coveted for those good old waffles there. Waffle House waffles are like none other. I love Waffle House waffles. Best waffles, hands down. Debate me on this. There is no winner outside of Waffle House waffles. So when I noticed that they were selling this online, of course your girl had to go ahead and, and scoop it on up. Scoop it on up for what it was. Now online, this is $15. Now this mix is $15, their shipping is uh, pretty uh, arm and a leg as well. It's almost the same exact price as the product itself. But I looked on Waffle House's online Instagram. They said that some stores are selling the ingredients. So you could actually go in the store and actually buy the ingredients. Now it's not all, I highly recommend you call your Waffle House before rolling in there and say, let me get y'all bags of Waffle Mix. Cause some Waffle Houses aren't doing that. They still need their Waffle Mix to make waffles because they're selling it. But I know around me, North Carolina Waffle Houses is everywhere the one up the street from me I called them to see if they were selling it they aren't selling it there are like six others in the county seven others pretty much in the county a lot of them are closed just because of what's going on in the U.S. and all that so again just want to give you some backstory on why Waffle House is selling this now this is literally the bag they use this isn't like some special thing they put on the market to kind of bring people in like it's just like Waffle House mix no this is literally what the stores use this is the bags that are sent from headquarters to the stores to make the waffles that you guys enjoy so this is nothing unique they literally have bags probably sitting around that they don't want to you know expire by the end of the year because their stores aren't opening so to turn a profit which is smart genius of them hand claps for waffle house they decided to sell these bags now these bags are huge they're intended to make several waffles because waffle house sells several waffles a day but me living by myself being one person this bag is a lot so they did a helpful tip of kind of breaking it down for you because the back of the bag is telling Waffle House employees how to make the waffles it tells them how to break down this particular bag which for them this is probably just one hour of waffle mix this is probably they can sell this in 30 minutes this much waffles this bag makes 25 waffles again I'm one person so they break it down on this cute little card they send you that tells you how to make the waffles for smaller quantities so for five to six waffles for 10 to 12 waffles for 20 to 24 waffles love that they did this because again um, this is the commercial size of how they're selling it I'm gonna walk you through today's video me actually trying it for the first time it looks like the bag is open so you're probably like, you already tried it girl you know what it is no I'll tell you in a minute why it's open you'll understand in a few moments but again this is gonna be your first impressions on this waffle house mix we're gonna see together on camera if this is actually good they also sent me uh, a menu as well so in the package there were three items the mix the instruction cards and a menu because of course they still want you to buy from Waffle Houses the Waffle Houses that are open they still want you to do takeout so they give you a to-go menu so you can order your, your Waffle House and I decided today since I got the waffle mix I'm gonna make the whole all-star special so if you you know Waffle House you know you can get that under seven dollar all-star special what does that include you may ask it's the waffle of course it's two eggs any way you want them scrambled hard fried all that sunny side up you can get your two eggs then they got toast or biscuit me myself I always typically go for the toast and that's what I'm gonna make today and you can get bacon sausage or city ham your girl is a bacon girl so I'm gonna make bacon today and then you can get hash browns or grits now I don't have their hash browns with me right now but I do have some grits I'm a southerner so I always keep some grits on hand your girl got grits for days over here again southerner born and raised so I love my old-fashioned Quaker grits so I'm gonna 
just throw down all the other ingredients and I'm gonna save the waffle for last actually making it but first let me show you how I actually make the actual waffle now again the instructions are so effortlessly placed on the back of the card so first what you need is if you are making five to six waffles which I decided to make because that is the smallest quantity they give you to kind of make what you're gonna need is about one and a half cups of the waffle mix so I combined one and a half cups of the waffle mix I put in one egg and then I put in two and a half cups of half and half now as I mentioned in the beginning your girl is no Tabitha Brown so I didn't capture the moment of me pouring in that half and half correctly my arm was all in the shot and all that so your girl's not the the keenest at filming and shooting cooking videos because your girl can just make hair content and refilm it but you can't refilm pouring ingredients but so you guys get the gist I just took half and half poured two cups this is a cup pour two cups and then pour it in the batter. So at the very bottom of the instructions, it does tell you best is prepared one day ahead and refrigerated overnight. So that's why the bag was pre-cut. It wasn't the fact that I've already tried it. It's the fact that I did this yesterday so that I could today enjoy said waffles. So by the, the joys of YouTube magic, voila we are back the next morning with the waffle mix all settled uh you know i whisked it all together everything is combined let's see how it actually looks today in comparison to yesterday because yesterday it looked very soupy so i was a little scared the girl was a little scared of what this concoction was gonna be so today if i can move it around it's a lot thicker than it was yesterday it's a lot thicker of a mixture I don't want to hold it too much because I don't want none to run out. I want to keep all this good batter into place. Now, also you're going to need a waffle maker. I've had this waffle maker probably for the last six years. I got it for a Black Friday probably six years ago. Made one waffle in it. Made one waffle. Have only used this once. It was one of those, you know, $20 purchases that I was like, your girl loves waffles. I'm going to be cooking waffles up a storm. It sat here vacant for six years waiting for the moment that Waffle House finally came to their senses and I hate that COVID-19 made this happen but I'm happy they finally put the waffle mix on the market so I'm gonna use that today but first I'm gonna go ahead whip up all the other ingredients because I'm probably gonna save this for last I want that waffle to be golden I want it to be the you know the warmest thing so I'm gonna throw down on the bacon throw down on the eggs throw down on the grits all together and then come back and show you the thing y'all want to see the thing y'all clicked on this video of how is this going to work out is this going to taste good or what so now the moment you're waiting for the actual cooking of this waffle now the instructions on the back cooking requirements say use only a three ounce waffle ladle for placing in the baker cook three minutes do not cook by smell or from memory use timer and it says have waffle bakers temperature set at 380 now I don't have the Waffle House waffle makers. I didn't even know they called them. They call them bakers there. We know the behind the scenes lingo for the Waffle House. So I don't have a waffle baker here. I got this good old cheap old uh, Black Friday waffle maker that I've only used once. So I'm probably going to fail the first waffle about applying the right amount of batter in here because I don't know the right amount of batter. I'm hoping this is one of those, you know, like a hotel waffle maker where it'll make a sound when it's ready. But we're going to see. This is an experiment on Waffle House batter as well as my experiment on how well I know how to use this thing so first I'm gonna spray it with some non-stick spray I'm gonna not try to use a lot of it because I don't want it to affect the, the taste of it so I'm just gonna apply kind of a little bit just so it doesn't stick now I'm going to just it's kind of thick so I'm gonna maybe put hope that's enough seems like enough we'll see if that is enough um and then i turn it over all i did was turn it over and then um it will i think light up 
and say ready because there's a button at the top I'll show you what that button says it says ready right here so when it says ready I think it should be ready but again I don't know how these things know specifically that's how ready a Waffle House waffle needs to be but we're gonna sit here wait patiently there's some steam coming up I'm a little scared I'm a little nervous uh, with you but we'll see how this turns out so it didn't make a noise but it's lit up so I'm assuming that it is ready So the first one, so the first one turned out like this. I don't think it's a mistake on the waffles fault. I think it's a mistake on my fault. So again, I said I'm gonna go in a second time and make a second, you know, round. So we're gonna do this part two and I'm gonna make a perfect waffle. This is a little, you know, I think I used too little batter. So next time I'm gonna go in with a little bit more batter and it should be a perfect waffle. Now, second time's the charm. I'm gonna do this thing real quick. Yeah, a little bit more. Just so you have a mental image of the first waffle, this is what happened. Um, I didn't use enough batter and I didn't leave it in long enough, but it smells just like Waffle House waffle, even though it's a uh, bowl of waffle this is more of a funnel cake than it is an actual waffle this one i know it's gonna be perfect i i can't ruin that many waffles okay as you can see this time it did a little leakage so i think i used over the batter i'm over here being a goldilocks not knowing how to use just enough or a little bit but the ready sign is on i'm gonna give it a couple more seconds to kind of do its thing before switching it over Okay, this one's a little better, a little bit more together. Some edges over here were missed, but we'll put this one on the plate. But the third time's a charm, I'm gonna try this one more good time and see if I can get the perfect, perfect waffle. Now I said third time to charm, I really think I did it this time. It's kind of a perfect waffle. Yes, it has some edges, but I think I got it to the crispy level that I needed to, fluffiness. All right, we're gonna go try it. So now we got the true moment of testing. Now, nothing over here is gonna be, you know, new. Anybody can make a, a bacon, can make a grits, can make a toast, can make some eggs. This is, you know, the regular all-star special, but the waffles is the crown, the cherry on top. Now, I didn't know what, you know, syrup will make it. Now, syrup makes the waffle a little bit in a way. So I have three different syrups here uh, that we gonna try. I'm not gonna drizzle it on the waffle because I don't wanna ruin the waffle. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of just put them to the side and dip it and see which ones is kind of the best and kind of flow with it But let's test and see if this Waffle House waffle is genuinely, you know, the same I almost forgot the finishing touches for Waffle House. It's not the butter on top It's the hot cup of your tips beside you gotta have the full Waffle House experience here So that's why I got the cup of the utensils here, you know, just for that So now we can finally get into the taste test Mm, I definitely have to say it's just like Waffle House. I mean, I didn't think it wouldn't be, um, but I thought, you know, the syrup would play a factor into it. It really works well in any syrup. It's actually just like Waffle House because it should be. It is the exact mix. So all you need is a waffle maker. Just make sure you don't do what I did and you leave it in for long enough. You make sure you have a good waffle maker that kind of lets you know when it's long enough. But you don't want it too hard because Waffle House waffles aren't, you know, that hard. They're light and fluffy, but at the same time, they got a level of crispiness. I don't know. It's something they do that you won't have to take a couple of times to probably get right. But once you do, you got you a Waffle House waffle here. So if you like this video, make sure you thumbs this video up. Even if you didn't thumbs this video up, it shows me all the love and support that I need here on this channel. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram at leolamon89 and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss any of my content. Again, I don't make cooking videos, but I mean, maybe I should. If more restaurants out here give out their ingredients, I might be making some more cooking videos. So stay locked in for that and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.
very young time, yeah, don't be late, nah, nah.